and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're going to be reviewing the Broadway brand from Dollar General. Um, I noticed this, I mean it's obviously probably been there for a while, but I don't normally buy makeup from Dollar General. And I was walking around and I just, hmm, I thought I'm going to browse and look at some of their makeup stuff. And I've always known LA Colors. Um, I was actually one of the first brands I played with when I was a kid, when I was experimenting with makeup. And I happened to stumble across this, and this is one of the palettes. Isn't it pretty? It kind of gives me Huda Beauty vibes. Like the Desert palette, Desert Dust palette. I don't own that palette because it's a lot of money. <laughs> um, um, so I got a range of things. I mean, they had a full, I have it all right here in front of me. It had a full range of beauty products. And, I mean, they had everything from contour palette, it has like a highlight, a yellow shade, um, a lighter contour shade, and then a darker contour shade. I got the one in light medium, and it even gives you like a little guide on the back on how to contour. So it's really cool for beginners. Um, I got the eyebrow kit, which is really neat because it it opens like that. It has a mirror. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Anyway, these are the colors. I got the color dark brown, but this is probably the color I'm going to be using. This is the wax. This is um, a lighter brown, and then this is a darker brown. And it comes with this little brush. And I think it's really cool. It's really thin too, so I'm going to test it out using that brush. And then I also got I got two different ones because I don't know which one would be my shade. Okay, they both look the same in the camera, but I swear this one is darker <laughs> than this one. So I'm going to try both of them. I may have to mix them. Um, I got a mascara, which I'm kind of scared of because it is a lengthening mascara. And if you look at the wand, I don't know if you can see it. There's little fibers in this. And I've used fiber mascaras before, and my eyes don't like them. So, I don't know why I grabbed that. I didn't know that there was fibers because on the packaging, like what it's wrapped in, it doesn't say it has fibers in it. So, I was kind of surprised to see that, which it wouldn't, I mean. And then the next thing I got was their concealer. And this is the color Ivory. And it's really cool. I thought it was like a tube, kind of like the BH Cosmetics one where you just open it. It has a little applicator for like, anyway. It's actually kind of like the Too Faced Lipsticks. It has a little doe foot applicator in there and it's really cool. Um, I haven't tried any of these products so this is all like my first time. I even got the blush palette which is really pretty. And this is like a highlighter and I haven't tried them out yet. But that's what that looks like. Um, I got a pressed powder in the color light tan. That's what it looks like when you open it. And then to get to the powder puff, it's really cool. Ripped it up like this, and there's your powder puff in your mirror. That's really cool. I think that's neat. And then here's a little powder puff, and it's like a little velvet one. It's really neat. I love the packaging. They they obviously thought this out. It wants to look like you know super cheap, but it was very affordable. Um, I want to say like this was four dollars. I mean the eyeshadow palette was three dollars. This was like three dollars. This was like I want to say three dollars too. Um, the foundations were the highest, they were like five dollars, and the concealer was like four, three or four dollars. This was four dollars, and then I got one of their, um, what is it, a buttery matte lip cream, and I think, I think this was two, two or three dollars, and a buttery matte lip cream, and it has mango butter, shea butter, and cocoa butter in it, which I'm stoked, because that's good for your lips. And any kind of healthcare, actually. And this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. It's kind of, it reminds me of the, um, what is that lip color that I have that I just bought? It is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. If you look at theirs, theirs is pretty similar. That's what that looks like. It's pretty cool. So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of, um, well, I wouldn't say copycats. I would just say a lot of similarities 
to certain brands. Um, and then I got this. It is a rosehip oil. It's a Broadway clear lip gloss. It has, it says, reduces fine lines on lips, moisturizes and heals, contains vitamin A, and they call it Vitalip Rosehip Oil, and it's, it's supposed to be really good for your lips, so, and I've read the bag, and it, it has pretty much everything they said it does in it, so I'm hoping it's worth a try, and then I got their setting spray. And it is 24 hour long lasting wear, prevents makeup, meltdown, temperature control, and oil free. We shall be the test of that. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to prime. They did not have a primer. Unfortunately, they had a setting spray, which some people like to use as a primer. I am not. So I'm just going to go in with my NYX Honeydew um, Do Me Up Primer. I'm gonna, and I'm also gonna see if it's if it works well with other primers that are not a part of its brand. So that's also a good because I mean obviously they should. They didn't make a a primer to to go with their brand. I mean if they have, let me know. It was not at my store. I'm gonna go in with the foundation first. I've never. I've already opened this. I haven't seen the colors yet, so. Ew. So this one is in light beige. And it's very thick. <laughs> um, surprising for a BB cream, considering they're supposed to be like a, a found, like a, a lotion, basically. And then this one is in light nude. So I'm gonna get some of those out. I'm trying to do the color. This one is the, sorry, this one is like beige, that might match better, and then this one is the light nude. Hmm. Thinking about mixing them. is mixing them. That's actually close. That's actually perfect. Okay, cool. So I'm going to wipe this off and then get started. Okay, so I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. I always do. That's a lot. <laughs> this one is, that one was light beige, so I'm going to dot it. This one's very thick. I mean, surprisingly, for like, like I feel like I need to move fast. Thick. So that's the other color. And now I'm gonna go in with light beige. And this one's not as thick. It's thick, but not as thick. So I mean, I guess it's good they're thick. It looks the same <laughs> in camera, but it's really not the same. It's really not. They're really there's one darker than the other. I promise. <laughs> Make sure we get some down the neck. I'll be bronzing down there, so it's not gonna make a difference. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take my real techniques. They, like they didn't have any blush or they blush. <laughs> I can't talk. They didn't have any sponges or brushes, so I'm just gonna tap this in the skin. Very sticky. I'm like, I don't know if you hear that. It's, my brush is sticking to it. My brush. My sponge. Um, yeah, it is one of those you have to move really fast with. Like, wow. This is covering really well. I look like a ghost. Like, compared to. I swear. It doesn't look that white in person. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna use this to help me blend it in. It's blending really well, surprisingly. I thought it was gonna be horrible. It doesn't, I mean, it's not settling into my fine lines or anything. I actually kinda like it. Get that in my eye. Take it out onto my lids. 
I didn't have an eye primer, so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. I just need to prime my face because I'm a oily girl, and if I don't, it's gonna slide right off. only thing, which all foundations do this, but it's selling into my lines on my forehead. I don't, these lines are here. I don't know if you can see it. I can barely see it. And then we don't see issues as of yet. It's not oxidizing or anything, which I'm really happy about. Make sure it's all blended. Okay, well, so far so good. We're gonna go in with the concealer. And put it under my eyes. And this was the only shade then at my store, so. That's not very. I'm gonna go ahead and get my powder on. Just gonna pat that under the eye, see how well it blends, how well it covers. I don't have very serious um, any discoloration under my eyes. Actually, under my eyes aren't too bad. They're not too bad. It's sticky too. Like, the foundation and the concealer are very sticky. I don't know why. It's crazy. Like, like my... My sponge is sticking to it. It's weird. I mean, which I guess is good. You, know, you can use it as a primer on your eyes. Which is, that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to prime my eyes with it. Because eyeshadow is next. After I powder my... I should probably get that concealer on my forehead. Before I look weird later. <laughs> So I'm going to set it with some powder. So I'm going to get my Wet n Wild powder brush. I don't, I don't have any on anymore. And this is the color light tan. <laughs> I'm hoping this isn't too dark for me. That's, that's pretty good. Just gonna, a lot of powder came off. See? <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but that was a lot of powder. So I'm going to that under my eyes, under my eyelids, a lot of powder right here, and it doesn't, I don't have a smell. So far not too bad, I like it. So next, eyes. This is the palette that I picked up, and it is called Midas. Midas. The yeah. other, I love this range. The only issue it is it does not have any mattes in it. Like the closest thing to a matte shade would probably be this one, and it still has glitter in it. So I'm gonna dip into the Broadway, the contour palette. And I'm gonna go in with this shade and this shade to kind of go into my crease and kind of deepen it up. So now we get to see how pigmented these are. So I'm gonna go in with one of my crease brushes. And this is a Tarte one that I got a while back. So I'm gonna dip into the shade first. And it other downfall, there's no mirror. <laughs> on the palette, which kind of sucks. So, so I'm gonna go in. Maybe press up. It's kind of there. But I don't mind shadows that are not as pigmented at first. Like right now, you can't, you can't even see it. But that's okay, because I like shadows that you can build. Okay. 
Okay, now that I've done the transition color, I'm wanting to test out this purple color and this gold color because I know that in the Huda, because I know that in the Huda Beauty palette, there's a really pretty gold and almost like a purpley pink. If I am, am I, if I am correct, so I'm going to test these two colors out. I might put the purple in the outer corner and then put the gold right here. Make it pretty. I'm gonna grab a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go in with that purple shade right here. I'm just gonna put it so that's what I was looking on the brush. I'm just gonna put it in the outer corner. Nada. So sad. I might hit pan by the time this is over with because it takes a little bit of effort to get it on the lid. Like, see, it won't go into this area right here. It won't do it. See if it changes it any. Oh. I don't know why it hates my crease, but it really like oh my god, look at this fall out. I don't know if you can see it. You can barely see it. That's a lot of fallout. Like it looks great from here, but close. Do you see that? just not it's pretty I'm gonna make it work but that wetting it it did intensify it let me see if I can get my my powder brush to okay so the fallout comes off easily that's a good one that's a very good sign and I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back okay, now that I've done that I'm gonna go in with another flat shader brush and this one's from wet and wild and I'm gonna go in with that gold I have some thoughts. <laughs> so I figured out if you wet it after you put it on the brush, it will stick to your eye better. So that's what I'm gonna do. So okay, it's on the brush like that, and it's really pretty. That's where it stays. It's just like one of those. It makes my eyes look really wrinkly. I don't know if I can see. Oh my gosh. Look how wrinkly my eye looks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna try to maybe blend them together. This is not the worst makeup I've ever tried. I've actually tried an eyeshadow palette from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm gonna just try it dry and see how that works on, on this side. Okay, so this side is a little more pigment, a little more shimmery, I guess, than this side. But I'm not mad at it. Because and it's actually working better on this side than it is this side. And there's no no fallout from that shade either. I'm just trying to blend out these edges real good. It's really interesting. <laughs> so the next color I want to go in with, and I'm just going to wipe this brush off. Actually, I want to use this shade right here. kind of like to...
looks so patchy. I'm just trying to make this work. I think it looks okay. It's not my favorite look ever. Let's see. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen, happened. I need to blend so the excess off. Like this part of my eye is just, it's gone. It's ruined. It's, it's, like I thought it brushed away easy, but as it settled, I don't know if you can see the dark coloration right around here. I may look decent, er. So this is what it looks like so far. Not my favorite yet, or by far at all. And I'm gonna put some color into my lash line. Cause I'm gonna get that purple. I do not know what is going on with this eye. And then like this eye is like losing color. Ah, moving on! And then I'm gonna go in with that gold color again. Which worked really well dry, so I'm gonna do it dry. It's gonna go connect into that purple. Good. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, they didn't have any eyeliner. So, so I'm going to go in with the brow kit, I'm going to, I'm going to try the wax, <laughs> so I'm going to dip into this shade right here, and then I'm going to go into the wax, <sighs> deep in brows, <laughs> oh dear god, help me. It's a brow. So I guess we're gonna go for a brow today that's pretty bold. It's just like if you see my brows in person, they look very shiny. So my thoughts on the brow on the eyebrow kit. Um it works, but it's this stuff, terrible. Um, the powder by itself is very pigmented. Next, we're going to, since there was no um, eyeliner, I guess we're just gonna deal with the I like the way it is. And I'm just gonna go in with the mascara. And it's the lengthening mascara. It doesn't have any bells or whistles. All it says is it's a lengthening mascara. It has little fibers in it, so I'm really nervous to see how this works. And I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I want to get close and I want you to see if there's a difference in my lashes. No mascara. With mascara. Look up. I don't know if you see like a miraculous change. I mean they, they don't look bad. 
It's not my favorite mascara, but gets the job done, I guess. Do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, other eye is done. Um, I went ahead and put some eyeliner on because I it transferred onto my lid, and I went ahead. I, I can't stand it, so I went ahead and covered it up. It looks a lot better anyway with eyeliner. Um, I just used the um, Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. Um, and thoughts on the mascara? I don't care for it. I mean, it's it does its job, but I got spoiled with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It lengthens, it stays in place, it curls, it holds curl, um, it doesn't transfer. I love that stuff. Um, this was, I guess it's great for someone, you know, if you forgot your mascara and you need some ASAP, but you're planning on, you know, just a little random hair that just fell out of my bun. Um, if you need something, you know, quick and you're in a hurry and you're going somewhere to look nice, I think that it'd be great for that. Um, but for like long term use, not so much. I'm just not a fan. Um, so, <laughs> next. So, so far, the only thing I really like is the foundation, the concealer. I love the gold eyeshadow, the purple, not so much. Um, I haven't played with all of them yet, so I'm not going to down all of them, but so far, I'm not as impressed, but I guess that's what you pay $3 for. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to go in with is the contour palette, and I'm just going to use, if I can open it, I want to try the lighter shade first, just to kind of see if it's flattering for me or not. Going with one of my Wet n Wild um, Bangle brush, and I'm going to. I'm just going to bronze. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, a little pigment. It's nothing amazing. I think this palette would be perfect for someone who is a beginner for like bronzing or contouring. I, I wouldn't consider this a contour shade. It looks, it's not very, it's very warm. Um, try that darker shade, not a lot of it. And just see how it does. Wow, okay, let's see how it blends. It's actually really big on that surprised me. Hmm, okay. I like this. It's actually really nice. Um, it's not very pigmented, which is great for beginners. Because you don't want to buy a very expensive eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette or contour palette, actually, and just put it on your face because you're going to look muddy and it's going to look like, yeah. So, I learned that the hard way. Um, so, the next one I have is the blush palette. And it's really pretty. I haven't swatched any of these. Really, really pretty. I think I'm going to go in with that continuing pink color. And all these shades are very powdery, like close. It's actually really pretty. It's, it's not like wow pigmented, but it, it just gives you enough sheen to look like you're not a pasty person. I like that blush. And this one also comes with a highlight color. I'm gonna try it out when I get to con when I get to the highlight part, which is next. Okay, so I have two two highlighters. One is in the the contour, and then the other one is in the that in the blush palette. So 
Here is the one in the contour palette, one, two. You put it on my hand. And then the blush palette. Right next to each other. And that's what they look like. They're very can't really see them. <laughs> I swear they're shiny. They're very subtle. They're not like your BAM highlight kind of highlights. So I think what I'm going to use is this one's calling my name. It's got a kind of like a gold sheen to it and I love that. I'm, they're very powdery. Very Everything in this is so powdery. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my cheeks. Like that. You can kind of see how it's just a really nice sheen. I'm glad I picked that one. It's very, very powdery. Thank God for a setting spray because I'm going to look so icky if I don't. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. It's just a very, not very blinding kind of highlight, but you know what? I am mad at it. I actually really like it. Oh. Put on my Cupid's bow. I'm mad. I like it. <laughs> but I might like if you can see my lap right now, it is covered in powder from just all these palettes. It's crazy. Okay, so next we have lips. And I have wherever it went. And this is the color I got. It is not it was the only one that was not open and swatched gross people if there's a seal on it there's a reason they don't want you touching it um this one is called blooming spring and it's a very corally color so this may not look good on me at all i may end up taking it off and just leaving the leaving that lip gloss on but it's a really pretty color see it's like a corally pinky peachy color I just don't know what's for me. So here we go. That photo right there. So I want to kind of scrape some of it off just in case it's like bam pigmented everywhere. It doesn't feel like anything on my lips. It doesn't feel drying, but it hasn't dried down yet. But it's like, it's buttery, so it's like a mousse feeling. Let's see if it's buildable, if I can make it a little more intense. Oh yeah. You can just see a difference right here and here. Now, the unique one, the super pigmented, now it feels a little heavier. I, I, I don't, I mean, I don't mind it. I actually like it. It's, it's very, I like it. It's probably very transferring. But I don't see that as a problem for me because lipsticks don't last on me anyway. I'm waiting a couple minutes to kind of see if it'll dry down. It's supposed to be matte. And the mirror... It looks matte. It does look matte. Um, it's a little streaky, but I mean... 
I want to say it was like two bucks, even, maybe even a dollar. It was not that much. And I'm impressed by the pigmentation. I love the color. I would wear this, actually. I'm very surprised. I, I, I don't, I don't hate it. So, <sighs> final thoughts. Oh, I didn't even get to try this. I guess I could put a little bit in the center. So it's that's what it looks like. Squeeze that a little bit. Ooh, it's very thick. Thicker than I thought. It smells like roses. I feel like it took away. Did it take it away? from the color. It made it look lighter though in the camera. Maybe it's the reflection. Hmm, I don't know. But it feels nice on the lips. It's very thick. Very thick. Thicker than I thought it would be for an oil. Rosehip oil lip gloss. I thought it would be a little runnier and maybe more moisturizing. It doesn't transfer on your teeth, which is great. <laughs> And I like how this lip color makes my teeth look wider than usual. I like this color. I'm actually really impressed. Um, I like the lip color. The lip gloss is really thick, which I'm not terribly bad about. I mean, it was only a dollar, so. And I like that it moisturizes and has all those benefits in it, so I'm not angry at that part. So, final thoughts on what I have. The eyeshadow palette. Oh wait, we'll start. We'll start from the beginning. Foundation. No, I love it. It's great. It's. I will, I will use it again. It's um, not the best I've ever used, but it's not horrible. It does what it's supposed to do. I think it'd be great for a day of light coverage and to just go out on the town if you're not going on a special. I think this would work really well. I do have to mix these two because they only have like four shades. They have the darkest to the lightest and the two in the middle make my shade. So do with that what you will. Um, it doesn't have very deep shades which is very unfortunate because there are some women out there who cannot afford makeup um, that's very expensive where all the other shade ranges are. So and the eyeshadow palette. I'm on the fence right now with this. I loved the gold shade. This one right here, I I am not a fan of that purple. The purples are really, really hard to make for beauty community for beauty companies. So the fact that it showed up at all, which is fading, great, um, is is a is a miracle. <laughs> um, I want to try out the other ones. I am still on the fence with this. I don't want to give up on it because I mean there's potentially some shade there I mean come on the gold one was great um, so I'm not giving up on it um, the concealer I like the concealer I really do it's great for under the eyes it's not a brightening but it was the only shade that they had available at my store so I'm gonna try and see if I can't find any more that's brighter so I can brighten my under eyes and make me look more awake um, as of right now it is like horrible on me. I love it. I use it to carve out my brows, which are our sisters, not twins today, and they're bold. Um, so it worked. It did its job. I have no complaints. Um, next, I love the powder. Very good powder. It's very powdery. Oh, I totally forgot. I didn't set my face. So here's the setting spray. I'll go ahead and do that. While I'm talking. Um, the powder was great. That stuff smells weird. But it did its job. Um, it's really powdery. I don't have any issues with that because um, it goes apparently, if you know, it's powdery. It's powder, it's supposed to go everywhere, so it's great. Um, <laughs> everything I use was powdery, so. Um, 
and cheap makeup, I guess. That's what you get. Um, the contour, I love the contour. It was great. It did its job. It's not the most pigmented, but I think it's great for people who are just starting out in the beauty community and using makeup for like girls that are teenagers. I seriously think this is really great. It has a highlighter in it already. It has a yellow shade for under the eyes to brighten. It has this shade if you're not that, you know, you're fair, you're not really comfortable using contour yet. I think it'd be great to put on your cheeks and it won't be too, too pigmented and it won't show up terribly. It won't make you look muddy or anything. This shade was really well, worked really well for my contour. I actually enjoyed it. It was not as warm as I thought it was going to be. So I'm very impressed with this little palette here. Um, the brow kit. I hate the wax. We'll just go ahead and get that out the way. Hated the wax. Love the pigmentation of these. They were very pigmented. By themselves which is normally how we'd use a powder but I was want to give it a fair shot and I love the powders wax blech, stay away from it um, and then the next thing the mascara the mascara the mascara the mascara I probably won't use it again because I'm spoiled with my, my lash paradise um, so I won't be using it again but um, I will be giving it to my stepdaughter who is just starting out in makeup and I think she would like it because it doesn't come off very strong. I had to layer it a lot just to get it to where it was right now. Um, so I'm going to give it to her and let her play with it. She's just started out on makeup so I'm going to let her do that. Um, the blush palette, beautiful. I love the colors. They weren't super pigmented. Gives you just enough color. Great for beginners. Um, I will try out these bottom ones, but this this one right here was so pretty. It was I mean it was just the right amount of color. You can't really see it on here, but it it was it's great. I loved it. And the highlight is more for it's a very subtle, very subtle. It didn't even show up, you know, when I was trying to show you on the swatches. So um, I'm gonna play with that one a little bit more, but I loved it. It was really nice. And next. I'm missing setting spray I think that's it oh lip colors this color is beautiful I absolutely love it um, I will be using it again I was very surprised that I would actually like it the lip oh my gosh this stuff is great it smells like roses um, as it settles on your lips it doesn't feel as thick anymore so I guess it kind of has to warm up but it doesn't make your lips stick together I mean, it feels like you have gloss on your lips like you did back in the 90s when you would just coat it. That's what it feels like, but I don't mind that because my lips are so dry right now because of this weather. So, this, big thumbs up for me. Setting spray, I don't know yet. <laughs> um, I like this spray on it. It has a funky smell. It's not a horrible smell. It's not like something you can't live with, but I do like this. It was really, really nice. Um, the spray, like I said, the, the spray was really nice. I don't know, I can't see it. See, it has a really weird smell. It's not horrible. Ugh. And don't breathe it in it. It's terrible. So I will see if it lasts 24 hours. I'll test it out one day. I'll wake up early, put makeup on, spray it on my face, and go through my day and see if it lasts 24 hours. Let's see if it prevents my makeup from sliding off because I'm an oily girl. And my makeup always looks really shiny by the end of the day and it's supposed to be oil free which I can sense it is oil free because it doesn't feel oily on my face um, so that is it um, if you like videos like this please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I want to thank you all for watching it and I hope you all have a great day